it, I wasn't a big fan of frittata. I think I've had a few that have been really rubbery and overcooked. Now, I'm a big fan of frittata because I've learnt how to cook it my way, which has lots of different flavours in it, and the eggs are cooked to perfection. Now, I've got a pan on medium to high heat. I'm going to add a good glug of olive oil, about one tablespoon, and I'm just preparing my potatoes. This is a potato and chorizo frittata. This is a very Spanish way of making a frittata. When you're selecting your potatoes, ensure you get a waxy potato. These potatoes potatoes are Kipfler potatoes and I've just peeled them and then given them a good wash. Now I'm going to add them to the oil. Be careful not to throw them in or else the oil will splatter everywhere. And I'm going to fry these for about four to five minutes. First of all, I'm going to coat them in that oil. And what we're looking for is crispy potatoes. So slowly bring the heat up and then they'll go crunchy. Now while they're cooking, we can get onto the chorizo. Chorizo sausages are made with finely minced pork and has lots of spices in it, particularly smoked paprika and a lot of garlic. So it's perfect to really brighten up this frittata. I'm going to cut it into rounds, about one centimetre thick. This frittata is not about small little pieces. I want this frittata to have some textures in it. So chunky pieces of potato, chunky pieces of this crispy chorizo sausage. Now I'm just going to quickly toss these potatoes so all the sides can go golden. I'll add a small amount of salt to the potatoes. Not too much salt because the chorizo has some salt in it. All right, they're looking good. Not long now. For a little bit of greenery in this frittata, I'm using some Cavallo Nero. I love Cavallo Nero because it's got a really nice hearty taste to it and it will hold its shape nicely in the frittata. Three or four leaves is plenty. Right, potatoes are golden, so now it's time for the chorizo to go in first. And just to accentuate that paprika flavour in the chorizo, I'm going to add some smoked paprika powder, a small pinch, and a few cloves of garlic. So big, bold flavours here. Just finely slice it and then run your knife through it so it's into small pieces. Great. Now to bind everything together, it's all about the eggs. For a recipe of this size, I need five eggs. Use free range eggs for this, the best quality eggs you can get, and or crack them in to a bowl. To really show off these eggs, I'm going to add a small amount of creme fraiche. Creme fraiche is really going to make the frittata really silky, slightly creamy, and definitely not rubbery. So about a quarter of a cup of creme fraiche. If you can't find creme fraiche, you can absolutely just use standard pouring cream. And then, with a whisk, break up those lovely egg yolks and then whisk everything together with a little bit of salt. Now, there's a nice consistency here of the eggs and the cream. So, let's go over here to our pan. Oh, this is looking perfect. I love this combination of potato and chorizo. Now it's time to add our Cavallo Nero. You could also use kale for this or spinach. Both work just as well. And then give that a really good toss. How good are those colours? Just gorgeous. Now spread everything out so it's in one layer and add our egg mixture, slowly pouring it in, covering all of that yumminess. And then just with a spatula, just poke down the bottom just so we set that egg and start the cooking process. But we do need to cook the top, so the best way to do this is to place it in the oven. This is going to cook for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Now don't overcook it, keep an eye on it. We're looking for just a slight jiggle in the centre. minutes in the oven and it is cooked to perfection. Now in order to flip it, 
it is good to just give it a little shake and just loosen it up. It's also a good idea to have a non-stick pan, just makes life a lot easier. Now, just while that settles there for a moment, I'm going to serve it with just a parsley salad. So just a small handful to garnish. If you like, you could just serve this with a really fresh rocket salad or a mixed leaf salad. And for some zing, a little bit of red wine vinegar, some good quality Australian extra virgin olive oil, so you can taste it in the salad and a very small pinch of salt, and then just give that a toss at the very last minute, just before you start to serve the frittata. All right, the moment of truth, we need to flip this. Get yourself a plate and pop it on top, and then very carefully, because it's still hot, flip. Pop it down, a little tap, just to make sure it's detached, and voila. Oh, I wish you could just smell that. A waft of chorizo, potato and smoked paprika. That looks fantastic. Now to finally garnish it with parsley leaves. Frittata is one of those dishes that's budget friendly, can feed a lot of people. It can be done for breakfast if you like lunch, but even better, a nice light dinner. This is going to make anyone a frittata fan. <laughs>